Aquarius why you keep them so delirious my babies it is Mira it is Shira it is Vera it is Scorpion Reds Tarot I am back at it again one time for the one time shout out to all my OGs shout out to all my newbies shout out to all my babies for like sharing and subscribing and clicking this video what's up what's up what's up with you all right listen I hope you guys miss me because I sure missed you we're going to do some quick reads today we're going to go in and find out what the energies are surrounding you for the month of September we're going to make it a month to remember <coughs> excuse me <coughs> before we get into today's message we're going to um give praise and utmost thanks to God um before we tap into today's energy so father God thank you so much for bringing us here collectively for the sign of Aquarius thank you so much for sparing us and delivering us from anything that we need to separate ourselves from uh because we're not carrying no more energies like that into the rest of this year we sure not carrying into 2024 because we want more baby we want more honey we are using our sword and we are using our intuition father God and we thank you so much we thank you for covering us we thank you for protecting us we thank you for guiding us father god and we're gonna stand strong and these blessings gonna be long long and long 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 so father god thank you so much and in jesus name amen all right let's get into it all right come on aquarius now what you in here talking about you look talking about you've been spared okay look aquarius said i've been spared and prepared let's get into it what we got going on for aquarius for September. Alright, let's see. What we got for Aquarius for September? Alright, we got health. <coughs> It says, an excellent time to start an exercise program or a diet. Many new friendships are on the horizon. Alright, you making healthy new friends? Starting a new diet plan? Come on now. I forgot, um, it's like this new, uh, diet trend thing where it's like you get the, uh, the monthly meal packages and like my, um, co-workers, they always have, I forget what the plan is called. They always have these meals in the refrigerator and honey, they be looking so good. And I'm like, I think I might want to, uh, get that little subscription or whatever. I don't know. You guys might be getting into one of these. And then you got the heavens. All right. I feel like yo, why am I, why am I feel like your body may be healing from some surgery or something? I don't know if it's somebody that had just like, I'm hearing cosmetic surgery. I think it may be more cosmetic. But it could be healthy related cosmetic surgery and it's like your body is healing like you're taking better care of your um health your exercising um again and i'm seeing like this the um taking care of your skin where the scar scar tissue or whatever where you had whatever procedure at i don't know if it's like a weight weight loss surgery or something like that <clears throat> But you're doing really good. And you look really, really, really good. All right, what are these cards? She says revolution and discipline. Okay, I told you. And using the sword, I told you. Revolution, transformation, radical change. Give up the old to make a way for new quantum leaps. I tell you, your body is transforming. Your body is transforming. You're living a whole totally different, like, healthy lifestyle. You guys might be meeting a new, whole bunch of new friends and stuff like that at the gym. People that practice this new healthy living and things like that. And you're loving the way that your body transforms. You are hella disciplined. You know what you need to do. You got your routine, you got your meal plan thing going, and you really like your meal plan program. There's a few things that you actually really, really like <laughs> in your meal plan program, and you may need to slow down on ordering. <laughs> okay, because you might have quantum leap into a new addiction. I don't know what the uh, little <laughs> granola bars or something, whatever the hell that you be in, but them shits is good. But anyway, 
It says extra authority defined. It is time to take the bull by the horns, create a strategy, mobilize forces. Now you guys are not playing. You guys are not playing. Come on. I just heard heaven bless it. Yes, heaven bless it. That Phoenix energy. It's like you guys are like dying off like an old part of you. You know what I'm saying? You don't look the same anymore. You don't feel the same anymore. It's like God has carried you through like a long way. And it's like I can finally look at myself and I see the growth. Like I, I see, I see myself. You know what I'm saying? Like you really like what you see. I like that. I just, I just heard all of the hard work is paying off. Like you're fine, cause especially when you're going through like a weight loss journey and stuff like that, it can take a, a while of you being very, very disciplined for you to finally see the change, but you're seeing it. Okay. Suppression and inner voice. <clears throat> Okay, so what I'm getting right here, I feel like you guys have like kept yourself hidden for a little bit while you were doing your work. You could have been doing your work in silence because you have the high priestess right here. So it's like, um, it's like you're in secret, like in the background, like doing all of this strenuous work. I, I heard um, for some people, I want to say it's weight gain to rebuild your body so there's a group of people that went through some type of cosmetic surgery health wise to help them reduce their weight so that they can work out more and you know take care of their body more but then there's other people that are focusing more on the weight gain and body building it's like they're having to eat more they're they're take they're taking in a little bit more protein and carbs but they're working out and you know <clears throat> And maybe you guys haven't been as visible on social media. You guys haven't really been around a lot of people that you normally, you know, you've been like playing it cool. Like, you know what you're doing. Um, and again, with the high priestess, like you guys could have been spending a lot of time to yourself studying, learning something. You know what I'm saying? In secret, in private. So it's like you could get a better understanding of yourself or where you want to see yourself and it's like you're almost there like the ten of wands i don't look at the ten of wands as, as a bad card you know i really don't because it depends on what's going on around you so what's going on is uh a lot of good things like it's like supercharged energy so it's like <coughs> <coughs> i might not want people to see me until i feel like i'm perfect well not perfect but I feel like I look better to my liking where I'm ready to show myself to the world, you know, and I, I feel like you guys are almost there. You guys have been working very hard in secret and I want to say like you've been taking on a lot, you know, so it's like you might have been putting on extra weight. Just be careful because I don't want you to like pull a muscle or anything like that. So just make sure as you're doing your research and your learning and your studying all these different techniques all of these different traditions and traits and stuff like that um because i feel like you like you might be picking up like martial arts and all of this other different stuff to just help you because I, I, i'm i hearing this like it's more about your mindset discipline that's why i'm like it has something to do with like some martial arts or something maybe yoga or something where it's like you know you're learning a different heritage and their way of body and mental training and strength techniques what's over here <clears throat> you got the two of wands in the reverse so i heard like it's like a slowing down the possibilities in reverse I'm hearing like it's a slowing down so I'm hearing that it's like you want to reinvent yourself alone 
and you're not ready to it's like you're not ready yet like the product isn't ready yet like i'm not i'm not ready you know what i'm saying so you are focused on the new beginning and stuff but i feel like you got a lot more work to do and once you finish and you get yourself to a certain standpoint it's like you know what you're doing it's like then i will you know focus more on the possibilities but it's like i want to get my body in shape first i want to like focus more on being a well-driven disciplined person but again i want to urge you guys to don't take on too much because i feel like someone is doing too much heavy weight lifting and i feel like someone might pull a muscle so just watch yourself and but at the same time i want to tell you guys don't hold yourself back too much because I don't want you to be too much of a perfectionism, a, a perfectionist, excuse me. Because um, <clears throat> you might feel like I'm not ready yet. Like I, I'll look at the possibilities once I look this way or once I feel this good or once I know I'm in this position. But on the outside looking in, it's like you look damn well in position. You really, really do. You know what I'm saying? So, um, it's like, I wanted to say, like, kind of take yourself, take your thoughts, take your ego out of the situation and just stand in the mirror or just look at what's going on and where you're at at face value and tell you, and, and look and see if you're taking on too much. Like, are you putting too much on you right now? Because I feel like it's certain things that like you, you might can like take a few things off. Because I don't want you to push yourself into exhaustion almost. It's like you're taking on too much of feeling like what you need to do before you can get here. That I feel like you may never get here. Because it's like somehow it's like you might keep piling more expectations on or something like that. It's like you'll never be finished or you'll never be done. So pay attention to that. Okay? Because you're almost there. But if you keep piling on new expectations or, well, I'll <clears throat> look at the new possibilities and all that stuff once I do this. But, yeah, I want to do this too and I want this to look like this. And I, it's, 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 mm. Y'all, y'all feeling me? Okay. Don't be over critical of your growth. You look good. And don't stress yourself out and don't overburden yourself with too much right now. Okay? Because you look good, you feel good, you're healthy, and you're God body right now. So, yeah. Revolution, transformation, radical change, giving up the old to make way for a new quantum leap. I'm going to tell you when, um, when God give you that indication, because you see that eagle up there. So it's like something that's looking for you. It's it's going to snatch you out of uh, being preoccupied with trying to make something perfect right now. And it's just going to be like, no, we need you right now. Come on, let's go. <laughs> we need you now. Come on, let's go. Watch. I'm trying to tell you. If you... Keep trying to carry and do too much. <clears throat> when it comes time for you to step into this new position, your body gonna be so sore and and you not going your body is gonna fail you because you put on too much. Cause God is putting you in this position, and that all C and I is watching you. And I, I feel like watching you trying to do too much. And God going to snatch you like, come on, let's go. Take care of yourself. Make sure that your body is good. That you got a healthy routine. And that you're not putting too much stress on you. And when it's time to go, if you need to drop some dead weight, it's okay. You don't have to do everything by yourself or do everything at one time. Okay. Anyway, this is my message for you guys. Aquarius, I love you. I love you. And again, like, 
you know my saying for y'all is Aquarius, why you be keeping them hoes delirious? It's because you focusing on yourself right now. Like, you being disciplined. Like, you really don't give a shit about <laughs> right now. So, uh, yeah, if anybody wants to know what's going on with Aquarius, take care of yourself. That's about it. That's all. But deep, but deep, that's all, folks. Okay, I love you. Hit the like button. Peace.